And the Grammy goes to Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Sam Smith, stay with me! Sam Smith rules the 2015 Grammys. The UK crooner took home the most trophies for, including Best New Artist, Best Pop Vocal Album, and Record and Song of the Year for Stay With Me. I want to thank the man who this record is about, who I fell in love with last year. Thank you so much for breaking my heart because you got me four Grammys. Sam served it and he slayed it tonight, sharing the stage with Mary J. Blige for a show-stopping performance. Other monster collabs included Hozier and Annie Lennox, Beck and Chris Martin, Adam Levine and Gwen Stefani, Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett, Rihanna, Kanye West, and Paul McCartney, who debuted their new single, Four or Five Seconds. Now I'm four or five seconds from Wiley, and we got three more days to Friday. But perhaps one of the most unexpected performances came courtesy of, wait for it, Kristen Wiig? Wig donned Sia's wig during Chandelier along with Sia mini-me Maddie Ziegler. Sia and company weren't the only artists wigging out. Check out these stars fangirling in the audience. Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Chrissy Teigen, Haim, even Sir Paul McCartney rocked out, and of course T-Swift who was even spotted enjoying Kanye's performance. Looks like the two have finally buried the hatchet. Speaking of Kanye. And the winner is Morning Phase. Back. Beck beat out Beyonce, Sam Smith, and Pharrell for Album of the Year, and Kanye was four or five seconds from interrupting his acceptance speech. It was all in good fun, but clearly Kanye is still a proud member of the Baden seat. Can't blame you there, Kanye. Also, can we talk about how Prince gets a standing ovation just for showing up? I want to be that guy. For that and more outrageous moments from the Grammys, be sure to visit the ET Tumblr page.